Hello everyone, my name is Imtiaz Ahmad. I'm a software instructor on jobreadyprogrammer.com where I teach over 100,000 students programming online. This is not a programming tutorial, however. This is some career advice that I'd like to share with you. A couple of months back, I launched a video titled The Fastest Way to Become a Software Developer. And the gist behind that video was that if you don't have a computer science degree and you want to be a software developer, you should start with the database path because it has a lower, lo lower barrier of entry compared to other areas in software development, okay? And once you learn this, you can always expand your horizon and get into other areas. That's where I started, and I know so many other people that started with databases and became machine learning experts, okay? As a matter of fact, I know some software developers that don't have computer science degrees and are awesome software developers. These guys can eat CS majors from Harvard and Stanford for breakfast, okay? So there's plenty of examples all around us. I'm a living example of someone that doesn't have a computer science degree and I don't need one because when I first graduated college with an accounting degree, uh, as soon as I graduated, I didn't like accounting, so I picked up a programming book and I just fell in love with the process of programming. I loved the process of coding, and I still do. Um, if you were to, if I could, if I could uh, angle this camera and show you, I've got a whole library of books here that I purchased uh, many years ago. And if you were to open these books, there's underlines, and I've completed all the assignments. I learned data structures, algorithms. You know, I created, uh, read, learned about red black trees. It took me a whole month to get through the section of, on how red black trees work, and uh, you know, hash maps and hash tables and all that. I just put all of the effort I had. I was literally coding 10 hours a day, all right? Uh, so what is the underlying ingredient for someone to be a successful software developer? It's not the computer science major, it's not. I know so many uh, computer science majors that ran out of college after they graduated into some other field, okay? What really differentiates a, a good software developer from a bad software developer, okay, is passion. If you have passion in a given field, you can excel beyond belief, okay? I know so many developers that, that went through the same uh, process and have excelled in their career and didn't have an academic background in computer science. So I just wanted to let uh, you, know, let you naysayers out there, if, if, if you exist, uh, know that you don't need a computer science degree, okay, to be a highly paid software developer. Now, uh, another example that I've seen in the workplace is, uh, you know, new kids on the block. Let's say it's some developer that has four years of experience, okay, versus someone that has 20 years of software development experience. There are some cases where the, the new kid on the block is far better than someone with 20 years of experience in software development. Why is that? Why does that disparity exist? Again, it's the keyword passion. The guy with 20 years of experience maybe, you know, never, maybe never got out of their comfort zone, was just stuck with, you know, lear learning, uh, you know, databases, for example, and just did that their whole life. Whereas the new kid on the block learned Hadoop, HBase, Cassandra, big data technologies, web services, Java, REST services, all these things they must have learned. They, they were passionate about it, and within four years, they mastered all of those technologies. And of course, they're gonna blow away the guy with 20 years of experience, right? So it's all about the passion. I just wanted to uh, put this video out there for those of you that are passionate about this field. Don't give up. It requires a lot of work, just like any other field. You're gonna have to put in the hours, but if you're willing to grind it, and if you enjoy the process, uh, you're going to excel in this field, okay? So let me wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video.